Hello. Tell us who you are and tell us the concept behind your organization. All right, my name is uh, Bas Flipsen. I'm a researcher at uh, iFixit uh, Europe, so GmbH. And my main concern is working on an uh, EU project on repairability and make it a more objective scoring system. Cool. And uh, what kind of products does the platform focus on and why? Well, there are two parts of uh, iFixit which are involved. One of them is uh, it's a web shop, so we sell products like tools and parts. And we have a community-based part where we uh, develop uh, teardowns and show uh, repair manuals, how to repair stuff. But what sort of stuff? I mean, and what sort of parts? And Yeah, they're mo they're, we mainly focus on uh, consumer electronics. And then the main focus is on uh, laptop computers, uh, PCs. And if we really focus on mostly Apple products. Mo mobiles? Mobiles, iPhones. cell phones. Mm -hmm. uh, from the European point of stand of view, it's more now Android-based uh, devices. Mm -hmm. uh, from the US point of view, it's mostly iPhone-based oh. devices. Okay, that's interesting. Geographical. Geographically, well, they are quite different. You can imagine some companies might see the idea of iFixit as a bit of a threat to their revenue stream. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, people are repairing product and not buying new. Mm -hmm. So, um, while some other organizations might embrace what you do and say, actually, this is a positive step forward for mm -hmm. the world. Um, what's your experience in dealing with companies and, and what would you recommend to their strategic teams if you had the chance? I think uh, what we do now, for instance, from a positive, I think it's very positive to work together to, uh, with companies like Fairphone. Mm. Uh, we develop their online manuals, so how to disassemble the product, how to repair the products. Mm. And we do this, uh, we even uh, consulted them in how to design for repair mm. and me maybe reman and refurb. Mm. Uh, I think that's a good thing and I, I like that a lot. Uh, uh, companies like uh, Apple, for instance, uh, they don't want people to open up products and they have their reasons for that. And uh, I ca you can agree or disagree on that. Mm. Uh, uh, personally, I think if you can't open it, you don't own it. Mm. Uh, like but on the other hand, uh, if you want, uh, a, 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 if you want to take back your products, or if you want your warranty to be existing, then opening up products might be an issue. Mm. I can imagine that mm. Apple thinks that's an issue. Do you advise on all this on your website? Or no. What we well, we, what we sh only show is how to open up products okay. and ha maybe how to repair products. Mm -hmm. And we even sell uh, parts like yeah. batteries. Yeah. Uh, after two or three years, your battery might be dead mm. or almost dead. And then you want to revive your smartphone mm. or tablet or your mm. PC by just changing this battery. And mm. it's such an easy, sometimes it's very easy. Mm. So why not show how to do it? This has grown really quickly, hasn't it? I mean, I remember a few years ago, you know, speaking to the founder of iFixit, and, and it was quite small then, and it's really become a global phenomenon. Yeah, now. I think we have about um, 150 plus people in the US, wow. and we have about 50 plus people in uh, the European team. Wow, that's, a, that's amazing. It's quite big, yeah. Yeah, it's gone from a few yeah. people to now big teams, yeah. big presence, okay. Yeah. So looking forwards then, what trends do you see coming in the future? Uh, what I what I see is that we're now mainly focusing on mobile devices because that's the core uh, electronic units that's being disposed so far, so quickly. And what I see uh, from research is is that more devices are becoming more consumables. Like mm. uh, your mobile device is becoming a consumable. Every so like a throwaway device. Like a throwaway device, mm. and uh, you you can even see that in coffee makers. Where it used to be uh, 20 years doing with a coffee maker, nowadays every four or five years you buy a new coffee maker. Mm. You can see the same thing with, uh, with PCs. They are often very outdated quickly, mm. uh, except for the Apple, I think. I think the iMac, for instance, still from 2009 is a very good iMac, mm. and you mm. still can use that on a top-notch level. Mm. So it's, there, there are differences. Mm, depends on the product. It depends on the product, but I think more and more products, electronic products and devices are getting more uh, obsolete at a certain time. Uh, one thing is, I think, uh, smart TVs, yeah. which is one of the uh, projects we're focusing up in the upcoming years. 
where smart TVs become obsolete because of software. Yeah, yeah, They're yeah. not being updated anymore, no yeah. security updates anymore. Yeah, yeah. And that's why after two years you can't even watch Netflix on your smart TV. Yeah, yeah. And then, well, you have to buy a new one. Yeah, yeah. That's strange, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. That's Just really strange. Replace product, replace product. Yeah. So, what sort of social and technological changes do you see uh, that you think will have a rev relevant impact on, on the circular practices that you do, like fab labs or digital manufacturing, that mm -hmm. type of thing? Do you think it's growing? Do you think it has an effect? I think it might have an effect, especially on components being repaired, so plastic components, maybe even metal components, which can be used to replace parts which are broken. Uh, that might be an idea. We have some projects at the, together with Delft University of Technology where we focus on repair by means of 3D printing, mm. so how to do that. Mm. And uh, iFixit I even has a competition, so where students and people around the world can show off with their 3D printed parts yeah, yeah, and yeah. how to do this. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. And that's really cool uh, based on a student's project and how to do this. Make a simple 3D scanner for instance mm. uh, with, within budget mm. and based on this 3D scanner you can uh, uh, print out, new, of, you can scan components, mm. and maybe uh, change it a little bit in cut. Mm. and then uh, upload it and even print it out and repair your, your product. One of the things I've seen come in, we've got the, I'm just looking globally now and thinking about repair globally. We've got the Sustainable Development Goals in the mm. UN linked with the Climate Change Agreement. These are the global agreements. And then we look more closely at the European Union and they're sort of talking about transition to a circular economy engaging with society. So isn't it, Actually, we're going to see a revolution in society where society, people in society at all levels, not just technically adept people, but everyone mm -hmm. is going to be able to take a lot more control of their products. Do you, do you think that could happen? Well, it already happens with uh, repair cafes, for instance. Yeah. If you look around every month, every other month or every month, there's a repair cafe, cafe in the neighbor neighborhood yeah. where you can where people are skilled to repair your product. And there's people there to teach other people. And there are people there to teach other people as well, cool. to yeah. show yeah. that it might be even very simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so fantastic. I think that's socially engaging people more in this project. That's what we're trying to do with iFixit as well. We have this large community where we uh, let people uh, build their own uh, manuals yeah. uh, show uh, show their own repairs yeah, yeah. and uh, together with the educational part so we have a large community of teachers in the US and also yeah. over here yeah. where we work on making more manuals yeah. and not only focusing on uh, smart devices mm. like uh, smartphones but also on uh, toasters and coffee makers mm. and you see the most strange stuff in design how yeah. uh, on the, at the Delft University for instance we do projects with uh, 100 plus students every year where we let them produce uh, manuals yeah. and show what can be improved in yeah. these designs. Yeah. So there's a massive opportunity yeah. for circular engineering design improvement yeah. to help repair. And also in the educational field. In the education too. That's fantastic, Bas. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you.